Madonna wannabe I've seen all day. Don't they know it's over? You know what they say about imitation. Boy, if I were famous, I would really resent people walking around looking like me. Don't worry, it's not going to happen. I think that's an insult, but I'm not sure what kind. Well, you're not going to be famous. Oh, yeah? Who knows? Maybe tomorrow I could wake up with a cure for cancer. Let's face it, Allie. The ship has sailed for the both of us. We're too old to be famous. Would you mind walking on the other side of the street? What's the big deal? Who wants to be famous anyway? That's not the point. What is? I just don't want to be told that my chances are over. You're right. I'm sorry. Even though they are. No, not necessarily. Grandma Moses didn't even start to paint until she was in her 70s. Doesn't help. Why not? How many kids do you see walking around looking like Grandma Moses? I'm sorry I ever opened my mouth. Come on, guys, hurry up. I want to get to school early. Are you kidding? Why? Because Jason and your sister have a date every morning before class. Ah, young love. Thanks, Em. When you get a boyfriend, I'll be just as nice. You should only have the chance. Moms, we're leaving! Did everybody eat something? Everybody ate something. Did everybody take a vitamin? Do you want to count them? Whoa-oh. But I said I took one. No, you didn't. You said, do you want to count them, which is an evasion, which means you didn't take one. Swallow. Allie, you're a genius. No. <laughs> Just am I there. <laughs> Did everybody eat something? We've already been through that. Did everybody take the vitamin? <laughs> so what are you unemployed guys going to be doing today? I, for one, have a fabulous day planned. I'm going to do something different, elegant, stylish. What? I'm going to update my resume. And you, Mom? I'm going to fake my resume. <laughs> Confidence, Allie. Kate. Vitamins. It's probably the last well-balanced meal we can afford. I'm not worried. That's taking us out for pizza tonight. Sneak home the crust, huh? Bye. Bye. So, Marty, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, I thought I'd go upstairs and get into bed, pull the covers over my head, and wait for an eight on the Richter scale of depression. You're not really going to moan and carry on, are you? Got any suggestions? Yes. You should plan to do something today that you couldn't do before because you were working. Take a holiday for crying out loud. I repeat, got any other suggestions? Let's forget our troubles. Let's go to the movies. I used to do that for a living. You know, when the chips are down, you're not a lot of laughs. Our chips have never been this far down. Where are you going? I liked your idea the best. I'm gonna go to bed and get depressed. Eat that. We can't afford to waste food. <laughs> Computer operator. No. Gal Friday. I refuse to be a gal. Hi, moms. Hi. hi. Good night, gang. Hi. That was fun. We'll do it again. Hi. Bye. Oh, hi, Allie. Hi, Kate. Oh, yeah, gee, the kids told me about your jobs. I'm really sorry. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. So, what are you going to do? Get new jobs. Star. Whole new careers. Waste away. Excitement. <laughs> advancement. Ricketts, Barry, Barry. Oh, Allie, I need a favor. I uh, want to ask your advice. About what? Well, uh, next week is Claire's and my anniversary. Congratulations. Yeah, sort of. So I want to throw her a, a, a party, and I wondered if you could suggest a menu. I mean, I need your expert opinion. You what? Remember, you need the child support more than ever now. Charles, you... Ha I have ne... Wait a minute. Don't move. Don't move! Hi, Mrs. Bernstein. Allie Lowell downstairs. Yeah, listen, I was wondering, what is the word for nerve that starts with a... <laughs> Asking me to help you plan a party for Claire. Calm down, Allie. You're unemployed. Why don't you hire a caterer like everyone else in Connecticut? Well, I intended to, but they want $1,000 for 12 people. Oh, and you thought good old Allie would do it for nothing. No, I'd be glad to pay you. Pay me? Pay me? There 
there isn't enough money in Greenwich to yes, pay me. Yes, yes, Allie, there is enough money in Greenwich. <laughs> Not with Westport thrown in. You want my advice? Cheese whiz and ripple. Bloomingdale's later. Charge cards later. Phone company now. No, if they turn off the service, Bloomingdale's can't call. Hi, Allie. Hi. How'd job hunting go? Well, let me put it to you this way. If I was 20 years old, just out of college, had absolutely no experience in the business, and English was my second language, they're still only offering half what I was already getting. Want to have some fun? Want to help me hide some bills? Allie? I've been thinking. Yeah? Seriously. Yeah? I want you to hear what I have to say. I will, if you ever say it. Calmly, with an open mind. That bad, huh? Well, it depends on your perspective. From my perspective, it's pretty good. Something tells me we don't share the same perspective. Well, if you're going to make cracks, I'm not going to tell you. My lips are sealed. Remember how Charles offered to pay you if you would just take care of his anniversary dinner? The seal is corroding fast. Just give me one minute, okay? 30 seconds. The caterer said they do it for $1,000. Why don't we cater it for 500 20 150 for the food. That's $350 free and clear for only a couple of hours' work. 10 Allie, you don't even have to go. You can just cook the food here and I'll take it up there myself. Five. We'll get some kid to serve it. Three. $300 free and clear. Time. Now may I say something? You're going to shriek at me. I never shriek. I sometimes speak with conviction, but I never shriek. <laughs> go ahead. Not in a million years. <laughs> Whoa. Was that the Bloomingdale's bill? Whew. How'd it get so big? <laughs> Not even for Bloomingdale's. Wow, it costs an arm and a leg to have a phone these days. Two, if you count the girls. Not even for the children. All right, where are the scissors? We better chop up some of those charge cards. Scissors, charge cards. <laughs> Boy, the car's starting to smell like a restaurant. Anything else? Yeah, cheese puffs. Ooh, could I have one? Not until the party. I love your cheese puffs. Yeah, my beloved cheese puffs. In that woman's mouth, I want to die. How's it going? Ah, as soon as the stuffed cabbages are ready, you can go. Great. See, that wasn't so bad. How would you know? You've been doing your hair for two days. My turn will come. I've got to drive all the way to Connecticut, drop everything off, give all the instructions to George, the waiter, watch him heat everything up, spend the evening with my mother, drive back here and help you spend all the money that we earn. That money is all going to plane tickets. We're going to have to get out of the country fast. <laughs> Why? Just make sure Claire gets the hors d'oeuvres with the parsley markers. <laughs> what did you put in them? It's just a tad too much garlic. Define tad. He won't kiss her until their next anniversary. You ready? I am. Stuff cabbage isn't. Boy, Ma, I feel strange going to the party without you. Oh, don't give it a second thought, Chip. This is one party I'll be glad to miss. Will you guys help me load this stuff in the car? Sure. What are you going to do tonight, Mom? Oh, my hair, my nails, my legs, my horoscope, an orgy of self-improvement. Oh, stuff cabbages are done. You're on your way. Check the list for heating time and temperature, and don't put the creme fraiche on the caviar tort until it's thoroughly chilled. The avocado mousse has lemon juice on top, so mix it thoroughly before you serve it. Um, I want all of those plastic containers back. Dry the radish roses and put parsley on them. And, oh, put the potatoes into brown. If they don't brown, put paprika on top. Nobody will know the difference. Oh, all slices on the chocolate mousse cake. It's red. Who is it? Hi. It's just us caterers. And us kids. Where's Tristan? He's upstairs. Claire, can I show him in the house? Of course. Bring the stuff in from the car first, OK? All right. Well, shall I show you where everything is? Great. Conventional oven, convection oven, microwave oven, rotisserie, mandolin food processor, uh, serving trays, crystal soup tureens, chafing dishes, Silver, linens, vases, aprons, ramekins, anything else? 
Where do you keep the orchestra? <laughs> On the deck. Oh. I'll finish dressing. If you need anything else, just holler. Oh, by the way, someone named George called. Said he couldn't make it. Something about getting a part in a soap opera? That's not a problem, is it? No! <gasps> George! How could you do this to me? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna heat this stuff up? Who's gonna serve it? Who's gonna help me figure out this phone? <laughs> I'm not gonna panic. I'm not gonna panic. Hello? Hi, Allie. Get dressed right away and come up here. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> Ajax Plumbing. Allie, George couldn't make it. This is not a kitchen. It's a spaceship. You've got to help me. <laughs> At the sound of the beep, leave your name and message. Beep! Don't hang up again! <laughs> Hello. Ellie, this is a life and death situation. Kate, nothing God or mankind has ever devised. No instrument of torture, no punishment severe enough would make me rush to Connecticut to help that woman serve on her anniversary to the man she stole from me. <laughs> Trust me, Kate, nothing you can say will change my mind. Ellie, I took you in when he left you. I have been a sister to you your entire life. <laughs> I've given you advice, money, men, my clothes. You owe me. <laughs> if you're not here as fast as can be, I'm going to figure out how to use one of these ovens, and I'm going to either convect or microwave myself beyond recognition, and my ashes are going to be on your hands. <laughs> hmm. Five minutes at 275 degrees. Okay. Time, five minutes. Temperature, 275. Start. <laughs> Start. Clear. Uh, five time. 275. Temperature. Start. <laughs> I said, start, I'm the person, you're the machine, you're supposed to start. <laughs> Who is it? Shut up. Oh, thank God you're here. <laughs> Is that you? Oh, don't get cute with me. What are you dressed as? What do you think? Oh, it's a disguise. That's great. Nobody will know who you are. I'll call you Hilda. <laughs> Allie, what are you doing here? Charles promised... That is, he said you wouldn't be here today. Don't worry, Claire. I'm just as upset about this as you are, and I will not leave the kitchen. <laughs> Well, I should think not. Having an ex-wife at the current wife's anniversary party is a little too Noel Coward for this part of Connecticut. It's a little too Noel Coward for this part of the universe. If you'll excuse me, I'm about to give myself an anniversary present. Widowhood. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toilet and trouble. Boy, what a house. That desk in the study, it must be worth nothing. It's a piece of junk. <laughs> Is that what you've been doing for the past 10 minutes, taking a house tour? No, I've been putting out the napkins. I just couldn't help noticing what I was putting the napkins on. What do you want me to do? Put the rest of the crudité in that pretentious George III tray. Oh, wow. This is really... ugly. <laughs> For the price of that tray, you and I could spend a month in Rio. Want me to put it in my coat? No. Even now, I wouldn't stoop to anything that low. How big a purse did you bring? <laughs> Kate, 
Hey, this is for you. A present for me? You shouldn't have. It's for you to wear while you serve. How do I look? Servile. Oh, well, my guests are arriving. Oh, you're not actually going to use one of your trays, are you? I won't have anyone eating off silver plate in my home. Well, they can either pick the hors d'oeuvres off that tray or out of your hair. <laughs> you know, except for the time that the kids and I shared the intestinal flu, this is the worst evening of my life. Just keep thinking about the money. Beats my wedding night for sheer horror. <laughs> money, money, money. You're on, Hazel. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, Claire, it's so good to see you. Not the shames. Oh, have you no mercy? <laughs> oh, more crudités, more hors d'oeuvres, more dip, more cocktail sauce. Allie, I've never seen people inhale food before. They're raving about everything that you made. Yeah, well, the cocktail sauce is in the fridge. The dip is right next to it. The crudité is in a bag right behind you. Shell the shrimp in the sink. Move, girl! I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, what? Oh, my ankle. I slipped on a piece of the cabbage. Well, what did you do to oh, it? Oh, I sprained it. I twisted it. I broke it. Which? Oh, oh. Well, oh. just calm down. It'll be okay in a minute. Rub it. Charlie, I'm an athlete. I know about ankles. It's not going to be okay in a minute. It is, too. <laughs> How do you know? Because there are two of us here, and only one person is going to serve. And if you're not going to serve, it means that I have to serve my old friends and enemies. And if that is the case, your ankle is going to be the least of your problems. Now rub it! Pick one. Isn't that... Aren't they divorced? Ma? Get away from me, kid. I never saw you before in my life. Well, you must admit, Claire has made this a show place. Excuse me, miss. Uh, what are these? I'll tell you when we get home. Sorry. I'm so glad you like it, Joyce. Yes, Bernard, they say it'll go up in value, but I feel art is to be appreciated uh, for the moment. Oh, I agree. I agree. What have we here? Oh, Claire, the food is astonishing. <laughs> Thank you. But let's not fill up on finger food. We still have dinner ahead. Just one little more. Allie? No. It is. Allie, <laughs> what are you doing here? Bernard, Joyce, hi. <laughs> yes, uh, Allie has graciously consented to cater the party for us. Very graciously. You did? Well, um, normally I, I wouldn't come here myself. My um, staff would normally do that. But uh, once I realized how overbooked we were, what with Senator Moynihan's party and the... Uh, <laughs> Reception, Ellen at the Waldorf the same night. You catered all those, too? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, Allie's become quite the chic cateress in New York. <laughs> <gasps> I had no idea. Well, uh, didn't you see the uh, New York Magazine article about Kate's in my business? No. Oh, then you must have missed the Esquire article. Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> oh, well, come on, I'll show them to you later. Uh, so, uh, Allie, you're a caterer. Well, yes, I, I cater business, conventions, parties, balls, anything lavish. Uh, I've got to get to a phone. The senator is waiting for my call. Claire, pass these, will you? <laughs> Look on the bright side. There is no bright side. You covered great. You made us sound like movers and shakers. I made us sound like liars and imposters. Nobody believed me for a second. You don't know that. Please. Oh, Allie, are you ever going to forgive me? No. Never? Not in this lifetime. What can I do to make it up to you? I'll think of something. Think fast. I'm dying of suspense. Allie, could I talk to you? 
Oh, yeah. Hi, Joyce. You remember Kate? Hi. Hi. Uh, listen, I know this is a great imposition, but... What? Well, in two weeks is Bernard's birthday. Now, I know we're not celebrities, but since you did Charles and Claire's party as a favor, we were wondering if you could possibly squeeze in a couple of old friends. I mean, if we could afford you and if you're not too busy with all those hot shots. <laughs> Well, to tell you the truth, our schedule is very busy. What date were you thinking about? Sunday the 14th. Oh, we had half promised to do the Sultan's brunch on the 14th. Oh, we could do it on the 13th. It's just a birthday. Oh, well. <laughs> Allie, what do you think? What are friends for? Wonderful. Oh, um, um, how much do you charge? 2000 <laughs> For strangers, 1,000 for friends. Allie, you're the salt of the earth. <laughs> oh, no, listen, I suppose it's being terribly pushy of me, but I thought I should mention that the club is having a bash next month and there's no one to take charge of it. Oh, no, forget it, forget it. The budget's um, it's probably beneath you and I know how busy you are. No. Wait a minute, Joyce. There is one thing that Allie has always insisted upon. What? What? That is, if we ever made it, we would never forget the little people, or our friends. So count on us to handle that big club bash. Great. Wait till I tell Bernard. What just happened here? We just went into business. Now do you forgive me? No. Why not? If it weren't for me, we wouldn't have just gone into business. What more do you want? All right, I forgive you. Allie, we're waiting for dessert. <laughs> no, I'll never forgive you. Not as long as the birds keep singing, not as long as the water rushes through the stream, not as long as the mountains are snow-capped, I will never forgive you. You weren't really serious about us going into business together, were you? Of course, it's a great idea. I don't know. What's to stop us? Customers, or lack thereof. No, we'll take an ad in the paper, we'll put flyers around the city. Hey, we've already got one satisfied customer and two more on the way. I don't think Claire was completely satisfied. Why not? Everybody loved the food. Everybody didn't eat the cheese puffs with the parsley markers. <laughs> Is that why she was crying when we left? I don't think she was sad to see us go. Oh. I thought it was because I broke her silver pie server. You did? Yeah. It was hard, but I managed. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Offers a hand in sharing The things start looking fine Sometimes tears and sorrow Are all the things you've got Just when you think You're all by yourself You're not 